Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about equation of motion by graphical method. Okay. As you can see on my screen, there are three equations. V is equal to u plus at, s is equal to ut plus half at square, and 2as is equal to v square minus u square. So this first equation is telling us velocity time relation. You can see. In which velocity v final if this v is final velocity u is initial velocity and t is the time and a is acceleration uniform acceleration. In second equation you can see this is called position time relationship in which s is s is the position or distance traveled by the object u is initial velocity t is the time. A is uniform motion and t square is means time, right? And 2as is equal to v square minus u square. This is called position velocity equation because in this equation there is no time. You can see that there is no t, right? So this is called position velocity relationship. Okay, so what uh, exactly the definition of equation of motion is this is when an object moves along a straight line with uniform acceleration it is possible to relate its velocity acceleration during motion and the distance covered by it in a certain time interval by a set of equations known as equation of motion this is the particular definition of equation of motion okay so now for better understanding we will study this graph okay so for first of all we will prove first equation of motion this is for velocity time relation for this what you have to do you have to consider velocity time graph for, of an object that moves under a uniform acceleration okay we will consider that object is moving with initial velocity u. You can see this and after time t by a uniform acceleration it is going to the v. Right? Means final velocity of the object is v. Initial velocity was u. So object is moving with a uniform acceleration and by initial velocity u and after the time t when acceleration is going up then you will at that object is attaining the particular velocity v okay so better better understanding and proving the formula we will do one thing what that is perpendicular that bc that parallel to oe we have to draw and one more perpendicular BE on a y axis parallel to the OC we have to draw. Now what you, are, you can see this shape this shape of this particular graph is trapezium this is half trapezium like this is called a trapezium and this is the shape of half tra trapezium so you can see this right so first of all we will consider this and we will study the more in detail okay so first of all you will see from the graph initial velocity of an object u at ob the point a at the point a and Perpendicular lines BC and BE are drawn. This line and this line we have drawn, right? So by this line, you what you can represent, you can represent final velocity V. BD. This is BD. B and D. So this is the BD. Okay. This is the BD. And this is called 
change in velocity because you know that oe is v and oa is u okay so change in velocity will be v minus u this will be v minus u but how to write it in proving the formula what you have to do bc bd is equal to bc minus cd represent the change in velocity in the time term interval t so let us draw ad ad is this perpendicular line on to the oc and we observe that bc 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 is equal to this bd plus dc are you able to see my graph you can see that bc this particular bc we can write bd plus dc right so you can see that b b is representing the change in velocity right and oa ot this cd is equal to the oa because these two lines are parallel right these lines and this line are parallel so we can see write oa compared to c dc so we will write here oa substituting bc is equal to v this is the final velocity bc right then oa this is initial velocity u right so v v will be bd plus bd plus u okay now bd will be v minus u this u you have to take in this u you have to take in left hand side then you will get bd is equal to v minus u okay so now from the velocity time graph acceleration of object will be what is the formula for acceleration acceleration is change in velocity upon time taken right so for the change of velocity we will write bd so put bd here and then time taken time taken is what a d i have to put ad here so answer will be pd upon ad now you will see from the graph ad is parallel to the oc so we will write oc in on the place of ad right so here you will write pd upon oc okay now substituting the value of oc is t we get we get we will get a is equal to bd upon t okay so now from equation 8.8 you can see bd is equal to b minus u you will put this two here and then you will get bd is equal to at and after putting bd value v minus u is equal to at right so you will get you will get v is equal to u plus at understood this was the first equation of motion okay now next equation of motion is equation for position time relation okay so now let us consider the object has traveled at this distance as in t time under uniform acceleration a right which we have considered in our graph right so what you have to find out now you have to find out position time relation right so for position time relation what you as you can see you have to take the distance traveled by the object right so for the distance what you have to do you have to take the help of this graph and you will see 
if in there is a velocity time graph then distance travel by the object is the area covered by the object or by the graph right so what is the area covered by this this is half trapezium i told you so the area of this half trapezium you have to find out for equation 2 right and there are two method to find out this area of trapezium what there are two methods so first method is you ha you can see the part of this trapezium one is rectangle and other one is triangle right so what you have to do you have to take the area of this triangle and area of this rectangle and you have to add the areas this and this you have to add right but one more thing is there you have formula directly for area of trapezium you have to have that particular formula okay so first we will consider easy one because you all know that easily this is rectangle area of rectangle and this is area of triangle so first we will consider uh, these two formulas and you will see that you will see that area o a b c o a b c is equal to area of rectangle o a d c plus area of triangle a b d okay now you will see that this o a into o c this area of rectangle c this area of rectangle you will see this what is the area of rectangle length into breadth okay so l into b what is the length of this rectangle o a right and o c length is o c and breadth is o a so o a multiplied by o c plus half now this is the tri area of triangle the area of triangle is half base into height right the formula of area of triangle is equal to half base into height right so what is the base here base is ad okay and height is bd so you will put all the values here half B AD into BD. Now, you all know that OA, I told you this is U, right? OC, this is time T. BD, this is AT from the equation 1, right? So, directly you will put all the values here and you will get U, T, OA, this is U, OC, this is T, half ad 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 is t so you have to put t here then bd is at okay so s is equal to you will get ut plus half at square okay this is the this was the second equation of motion okay now third equation of motion you can see like that only now I told you there are two methods to find out the area of particular trapezium. So first we have done right. Now second that is directly we have to apply the formula for area of trapezium right. So from the velocity time graph you will see that distance traveled by the object in time t moving under uniform acceleration. Give a given by area enclosed within trapezium, so distance will be area of trapezium O A P C. So now direct formula is there. What is the direct formula for the area of trapezium? Height multiply by means uh, parallel sides, two parallel sides, 
so one side plus two other side right so this is the formula so first you have to do half okay now o a and b c are the parallel sides so what you have to write o a plus b c into multiply by height this is the height of trapezium a d or o c you can say so you have to put the values here now substituting o a you know that this is u right b c you know that this is v right now oc you know that this is time taken so s will be s will be oa plus bc into c oa is u u plus v up multiply by t by 2 right so so what you have to do you have, what this you have you can see that from the equation of motion 1, V is equal to U plus A T, right? So, what you have to find out? T. You have to find out T. So, what you will do? This U, you will here, left hand side. So, you will get V minus U upon A from equation first. Okay? So, this value you have to put here. And then you will get S is equal to V plus U as it is, right? And this T, this T you will put V minus U upon A here. Okay, now what you have to do? You know that A plus B multiply A minus B. Identity you have to use. This is V square minus U square is equal to v plus u and v minus u right so by this identity you will get v square minus u square here and this 2a will go to left hand side and it will be 2as so this is the position velocity relation for an for a particular object okay all three equations we will revise this v is equal to u plus a t we this is called velocity time relation s is equal to u t plus half a t square this is position time relation and third equation to a s is equal to v square minus u square position velocity equation okay so next First you have to see my video, if you like it then you have to press like button and subscribe my channel to see more videos about physics related topic. Okay, now Sakshika Gupta signing off.